crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing, as you can see from the title of this video, a December daily, what worked, what didn't. And I thought about this idea of like doing this type of video really for me for the future for next year um, to kind of give me some pointers on what things that I did that I feel like were really successful and some of the things that I did that weren't necessarily successful. Now, I have a completed December daily. I uploaded the complete flip through of that yesterday. The link to that video will be in the playlist down below. And I want to kind of talk about the planning and then the process, my organization, and then kind of design, some design um, things. So those are kind of the four categories that I kind of thought of talking about today. So um, I wanted to start with planning. So that's why I actually have my planner here. This is my Christmas December planner. And I wanted to kind of go over a few things that worked in here in relation to my December daily. So let's go ahead and look at this. Real quick. I didn't see, I do have complete, like, um, I have some videos on this and kind of me putting this together and things like that. So if you're interested in all in what that looks like, then you can go ahead and check out those videos. Again, they are in the description box below. Um, so things that worked, I have a section in here where I'm, I called it December daily. Um, and I have a couple of different things that really worked well for me. Okay. So let's just dive in and talk about kind of how I used this planner for kind of planning out my December daily. Now, a lot of this planner actually didn't get used. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest, but my December daily, and uh, um, really I did use it a lot for my December daily and, um, it was very helpful for me. So, um, I definitely liked that I had this, um, and that I, and I, did this. So um, in regards to planning, one of the things that really worked for me is this digital layout. So basically what I did was I just took the pictures of um, the products that I had bought online. So I have like, um, I bought the um, some of the stuff from Ali Edwards and also L Studios. So obviously those websites have pictures of all of the stuff. So what I did was I just um, used Word and I just um, took snapshots of the, I saved the images and then used them to kind of create this digital foundation pages. And this was super helpful for me, specifically when I was working on my December daily, like the foundation pages. And then even after, like when I was trying to make changes or I was trying to like think of lists and stuff, like I was able to take notes and, um, and I was even able to change things up. I was like, Oh, well, I don't, I didn't do this page. I did this page instead. Favorite outfits I have listed here. And then like, um, I just made some changes to like right here. I actually put little stickers, um, where I made changes to the, the pages. And then I did like this little flip thing. Cause I thought of that about that afterwards. And so it just really like helped me kind of, it's, a, it was like a brain dump. Like I was able to kind of just get it off and out of my head and into a piece of paper. And it wasn't just on a scratch piece of paper. It was like actually in a book where I had all the other notes from all of the other things. So this was very helpful. Highly recommend if you, um, I highly recommend to try to do something like this. Even if it's just drawing out the picture yourself and kind of just making notes. Um, if you're not like digitally inclined, I mean, I just use Word. I don't have like fancy, I just use Microsoft Word <laughs> to do this. Um, so I, I loved that piece of it. The other thing that I feel like I did really well was as a YouTuber um, and really being wanting to bring you guys content and what I was trying to do is every day of, you know, Monday through Friday, bring you a video. Um, and I try to really do good videos. I mean, I don't always do great videos. Sometimes when I'm editing, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> um, but um, I feel like, you know, I do try. I do try my best. I'm in no way a professional editor or YouTuber or anything like that, but I try to give you guys good videos that you guys will enjoy and, and that will inspire you. Um, and so to do that, I really do have to plan it out. Like I have to really give myself time to do all this because it does take time. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and I love it. Don't get me wrong. It's time well spent as far as I'm concerned. Like I love doing it. 
So, um, but I really have to be able to plan. So this, this sheet I used quite a bit, my calendar, and then also this little sheet that I did, like the video that I wanted to do. And then when I recorded it, when I edited it and the voiceover and the um, post. So this is actually this week's and I haven't written it down. Um, but um, yeah, so that's, that's what this really helps me kind of stay on track. And then the other thing that really worked for me, and a lot of times what people do is they'll go to like the 31st. Some people even do like some of December, or I mean some of November, they'll kind of do Thanksgiving and stuff. And that's fine. I mean, it's your book. You can, you know, people can do whatever they want. But for me personally, I I really feel like doing going to 25 days or doing 25 stories was really helpful for me. Um, I've done 31 before. And um, again, with the fact that I'm trying to create a uh, YouTube and, you know, create document or create uh, videos for you guys, then um, going to 35 really kind of like added extra pressure when I did that when I did when I went to 31, not 35. When I did 31 days, it did add some extra time and pressure to do it. I mean, it's my own pressure too. It's nothing you guys do to me. It's just something I do to myself, which is kind of silly, but, <laughs> um, so that really helped me is only doing the 25 and I was able to really concentrate and do the 25 things. So one of the things that didn't work well for me is that I didn't start earlier. I feel like for me as a YouTuber and wanting to put out content uh, specifically for December and wanting to have, um, basically I, I wanted to do a video every single weekday in December. I think I missed a couple um, here and there, but I really wanted to have a, a, a um, video out every single day in December. And so in order to really do that and work full time and you know, have a life, I really should have started, um, I should have started in September, to be honest with you, because it's a lot of work putting those videos together and editing and recording and all those things. So I should have really started in September. Um, and that's something that I will definitely do next year is kind of start a little earlier. I won't necessarily post those videos until closer to December time, but having them ready and kind of, uh, um, done is I think really important now. All right, let's talk about process. So again, with the, the idea of doing videos and you know, it's my, 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 my process might be a little different than your guys's process, but um, I still feel like you can potentially learn, learn some tips or get some tips maybe that you would want to use. But um, as regarding the process, my um, photo prompts, were very helpful for me. Um, even though, um, so a couple things, my photo prompts were super helpful for me. Um, and really being able to tell stories instead of like having them be like, on this day, I'm going to wrap gifts. I didn't wrap gifts on the eighth. I actually didn't wrap gifts until like the 10th. I didn't do my Christmas cards until almost the 13th. <laughs> so it's like, it didn't, it didn't correlate with the date. But the fact that I had the prompt in here really helped me kind of focus like when I was doing my um, my gift wrapping, I stopped and took pictures and I made sure that I had those pictures because I knew I wanted to tell that story and I wanted to do it with pictures. So this was really helpful for me is to have specific photo prompts that I used um, in um, telling those stories. And then um, allowing myself to change the story. So you can see here that one of the stories I was going to tell is about candles. Well, I have a lot of really cute Christmas candles, but I didn't actually pull them out this year. Um, it's just something that I just didn't want to get the box out and I didn't really do a whole lot of decorating this year. So it's like, but I had a Christmas village that I bought at the Dollar Tree and I actually put it together and made this cute little display. And so I really wanted to tell that story. So then I just changed it. So allowing myself to make changes to the photo prompts was super helpful for me. And um, that was something that I really felt was something that I did well. Uh, what didn't work? My photo checklist didn't work. I didn't even look at this. You can see I checked off two and that's like it. That's all I did. <laughs> um, and I think it's because I made a lot of changes throughout the book 
and it was like when I was doing my foundation pages, I didn't go back and change this. Um, and I do feel like too, it would have been really helpful if I had this digitally, like something on my phone where I like had like, um, it on maybe notes or something like on my note page that I can actually check things off. I think that would have been super helpful because obviously I'm using my phone to take the picture. So then like, I would never go back in here and like check it off once I took the picture. So, and I didn't have this with me. It's not like I, I, I didn't carry this with me. I just left it here in my office. So, um, this just didn't work for me. So I think I'm going to try it next year. Um, but I'm going to do it digitally because I think it would have worked if I actually let it work, but I didn't ever look at it <laughs> after. I okay. Let's talk storage. So I'm going to show up a clip, put a clip up here of my, um, some of the footage that I took when I did my storage. Um, I got the storage unit from Joanne fabrics and I loved it. It worked fantastic. It was, it helped me keep organized. Um, it looks like a complete mess right now, <laughs> but, um, it, during the process of the month long process, um, I did, it did help me keep organized and really was able to keep all the components that I wanted in there. They were at the touch of my hand. I was able to pull them and get them whenever I wanted them. So I really liked that storage thing. It was really helpful for me. That I absolutely loved was these big folders from the Dollar Tree. Um, at the beginning of that, I think I even said in that video that I just showed you is that I don't think they will hold up very well. Um, but honestly, I don't, there's not one, they're, they didn't break. And this little sucker right here is full. It is full of paper. It's heavy. Paper is not light. <laughs> um, and, you know, especially cardstock paper. And I mean, there is a lot. I don't know if you can see how there's a lot of paper in here. <laughs> so um, it was, they held up great. And then these little small ones were perfect for my letters. Um, and I was able to keep them separated. I had, and then I kind of kept them like this in the, in the folder in that storage unit. So I actually had little tabs on there. So if I wanted my decorative stickers, I could just pull it out and look at my decorative stickers. This worked beautifully. I loved, I loved these things. Oh, and the other thing that I really loved using were these jars I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, I was super happy with these. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to this lid. <laughs> I lost a lid. I must have thrown it away in a when I was like cleaning up one day. It's or or I'm gonna find it in some random spot that I you know. Um, so I did lose one of the jar lids, which I'm actually kind of disappointed at. So but I'm on the hunt now to find another one of these so that I can. I'm thinking I'm gonna potentially use them all year round because they were really great. They the lids were good. They stayed on. Um, when I actually put them back on the tops, um, they sat in my little spot really nicely and I was able to grab them and reach for them. And then the fact that I was able to kind of put certain things in certain jars was really helpful. Cause if I like wanted a die cut star, I knew exactly I'd go into this jar and I get it. So th that was super helpful. Let's talk about what didn't work. This did not work. <laughs> So this is my, this is a little drawer that I have of, and you can tell it's a complete disaster um, because the, um, this was a, this is a drawer out of a little unit. Um, it's like a little three drawer plastic unit thing that you can, you know, get like Walmart. And um, I just pulled the drawer out and kind of left it on my desk um, with all my washi tape. And um, it, it didn't work. I, I mean, Every time I had to grab washi tape, it just like I dreaded it. <laughs> um, and I did use more washi tape than I was kind of expecting to use. But um, every time I did have to use it, I just, it made me kind of cringe because I had to like dig into this pile of, you know, just mess. And then the fabric thing didn't work either. I mean, you can tell it's like literally everything is just kind of my strings are everywhere. <laughs> I just have like this, you know big stack of just stuff I just kind of threw in here. So this did not work for me. So I would definitely need to next year kind of come up with a better way of organizing this um, for next year because I really did want to use more 
like fabrics and fibers and things like this, but I just didn't want to ever grab it because it was such a mess. So Crystal next year, think of a better way to do this. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about design and how, um, some of the things that I did that I really appreciate. So, um, I did, I used the rule of three, which basically is a kind of a design kind of rule that, um, and it's called the rule of three, but it's really more like the rule of odds. Um, and it's really about like doing things three times. So I can show you a couple of examples. So for instance, um, for there's, there's a really good example right here in these three different little tabs that I have here. So I have these three, um, and they're basically, they're these little flip outs that I had in the book. Um, and I did them three times because I wanted to have them three times. The other thing that I did three times is kind of this thing where I put a picture and then I put the star and then a word on it. So I did it there. I did it here. And then I also did it again back here. I did it out here again. So, um, and that's just one example of some of the things that I did three times and I used, oh, I got to re-glue that on there. I used three different ribbons. Um, I did those three. So I just did like rule of three and I was really, um, oh, the other thing that I did three of is like these little divider kind of resting spots. <laughs> um, I did those, I did three different ones of those. So, um, yeah, I was, I'm really happy with the way that this turned out because I feel like it definitely has that component of doing the rule of three, which I, um, I really liked. Um, the other thing that I really liked that I did was the interactive elements. So I did like little flips, um, on that one I did, these are all flipped. These all are flippies. Um, this flips up my day four has a flip on it. Like I did a bunch of different like flips. Um, I feel like next year, even this one has a big, huge flip. Um, I think next year I saw a lot of like people doing like different little interactive pieces within the book, like the, that little heart thing on the Facebook group. They were doing that little heart where they pulled it open and it like had a picture inside. So I want to explore a little bit about that next year, but I think ultimately I did a really good job of having those interactive elements is what would definitely was what I was going for. The other thing in regards to design that I was really glad that I did was I bought a specific kit for documenting December. And um, I don't, I don't necessarily think that it's a necessary component to doing a December daily. Like, I mean, trust me, I had plenty of stuff in my stash I could have just used. But for me personally, it just helped me specifically with this project is, so I bought, I bought the L Studios document December kit. And that was kind of my main kit that I used. And I feel like that was really helpful for me because for instance, like this little, um, these two journal cards right here, um, the hot cocoa and the sugar, the cookies, um, those two um, journal cards like helped me. They gave me like two of my prompts. Two of my prompts came from those two journal cards. I specifically was like, these two journal cards are so cute. I want to use them. So it inspired me. They literally inspired me to make this, this spread because I wanted to use them so bad. So um, I think that was really helpful. And then having all the components kind of match and be specific to documenting in December was really helpful because it like had like certain things that were like this, like this little journal card here on this day in December. Like that was another one that I was totally inspired by this card. This whole thing was based on this one card right here. Cause I was like, oh, I really want to use this. How can I use this? And I'm like, oh, I can record my happy mail that I get. So um, though I think having a specific kit art um, really did help me to um, be inspired and be motivated. So that was another thing that I really liked having. This is what didn't work. 
So these are my stamps that I had pulled out. And um, I don't think I opened this box once. I mean, yeah, I didn't use one single stamp in here. I didn't use um, my embossing powders. I didn't use any of this. So I think I just need to give up the stamp idea. I don't think I'm a stamper and there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but it's like, I think that there's so many cute stamps out there in the world. And it's like, I really want to be able to use them, but that's just not in my DNA. That's just not how I'd much rather use a sticker, stick it on and be done with it. Then I, the, I just, I'm not going to go for a stamp. And I just have to, <laughs> I think I just have to give myself that, that I am not a stamper. I'm never going to be a stamper. So that's what didn't work for me. So that was really my video. Um, I just wanted to kind of go through some of my things that worked and some things that didn't. Um, um, and I hope that you guys find this interesting. I hope that it gave you some tips on maybe what to do for next year's planning. Um, again, obviously things are a little different because I'm a YouTuber and if you're not a YouTuber, then maybe, maybe some of the things won't apply to you, but you know, some of the things might apply to you even as a non YouTuber. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm so glad that you came on this journey with me and helped me create this book. Um, having you as my audience and knowing that, I really wanted to produce really good videos for you it was very inspiring for me and helped me get through this and helped me create this um, really beautiful book that I will have my whole life. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you again real soon. Bye for now.